Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how best we can act on non-compliant devices. Uh, see, let's see example uh, from the Microsoft Intune. You have the device compliance, and you do have some of the policies. So these policies may be, for example, if one of the devices is found as non-compliant, what are the settings you have configured inside this policy? Uh, when I say settings, these are the device health settings, or it could be device properties, or maybe security uh, settings. Let's take one example as the security settings. If you found that uh, mobile device is uh, password is to unlock uh, to unlock it requires a password and if it is not configured properly maybe we can set it uh, as a required as the configuration part and if this is not set it becomes as a non-compliant and automatically it goes for non-compliant state and then out automatically it, it is also going to be remediated so let's have a look on it uh, if found as non-compliant then how best we can uh, address it so normally in uh, uh, Microsoft Intune you do have an option to send automatic emails so that uh, either the, to the user can act it or the persons who are responsible can be acted uh, quickly to make the device to be compliant uh, to begin with that we need to go to the notifications and in this lecture we're going to learn about the notifications so uh, let's go to the notification and create notifications here you can create these these are the notification channels and you can configure here the predefined messages let's see example you can take it as the device is not compliant uh, in the maybe in the name and in the maybe in the subject uh, more uh, focus to the subject relevant and then for the body of the message let me fill that information for you I just felt here as my, uh, the name and subject and the message uh, the message if you can focus on the message hi and then I'm gonna say that hey, hey user device is not compliant at the moment go to the company portal to view the reason why your device is not compliant and that's the message uh, we're gonna send it so in this message I'm gonna create this so this will take a minute or so to create this notification now once this notification has been created what we can do is we are gonna apply against to the policies let me go back to one of the policies what uh, we have created at this point of time so we do have a policy for Intune Android complaints policy what I can do is I can go to the properties uh, of this policy and if you can see here for action for the non complaints this is where it's going to be uh, make it whether to bring bring it back to the compliance or maybe you want to send it to email notification all that can be possible from actions for uh, non complaints uh, bleed in this case if you can see here mark device is non complaint immediately that's the action it's gonna perform if I want to uh, if I want to do furthermore I can say that hey send an email automatically or I can automatically lock the device if found as non complaint so I'm gonna send it to the email and here I'm gonna take the template as hello team template which I'm gonna use this template for uh, my team so in this case I can say that this template are uh, going to be sent for uh, hello team with the Android devices that's what I'm gonna uh, apply for uh, in this case let's click select and that notification has been selected now uh, I have to send it to the via email if you can look at here we need to find out either the AD groups or when I say 80 group it should be office 365 email enabled groups so let's go back here uh, I have did not refresh this let me refresh and come back in this case you can check out here by creating any of the security group maybe let me create one of the group here uh, from the office 365 uh, admin center I can see all email IDs as one of the group and I just filled this for a distribution list uh, as a scope you can see that and uh, it's it's going to be into and help this team who's gonna receive this emails and this is going to be their email ID and simply add that's it uh, the group would be created in office 365 now it may take another 60 minutes to edit the admin group center that's fine what we can do is uh, now we would be uh, we would be adding the members to that group so in our case we can add the groups now I should be able to see this group uh, if I refresh in fact here and I can go back here and check uh, what are the users or uh, what are the mailboxes has been added to by going to the members tab if we can see here there's no members now I'm gonna add that 
Uh, in my case, I can add here members like uh, Ben can be there or Chris. As uh, some of the accounts I'm just adding for the testing purpose, so that uh, all these users will getting that notification. So I just configure that. Now let's copy this uh, as a group name and let's go back to the engine portal. Now we can go back to additional recipients and select groups we should be able to see here that specific group name should be appearing here which we just created in fact uh, the group name is Intune help desk team and just select that and we would be receiving that so click on ok so the number of uh, days uh, if it is non complaints you can schedule like zero that means immediately you would be getting that uh, notification as uh, email so select it click ok now I have configured for this two of the settings one would be the marking as non-complaint and also sending an email notification this is how you would be configuring the notifications we would be testing this uh, once again with the live demo thank you for watching this